avec mon vélo. Est-ce que je peux t'emmener avec le vélo dans la voiture Ça marche ça ou ça Oui, il ne faut pas venir dans mon vélo dans beaucoup plus petit que la salle à ta voiture.
So it's 7 p.m. and uh, I think I've done enough for today. Um, the garden is really difficult for me. I'm used to paint houses, that's what I'm doing every day. And the garden with flowers and different greens uh, looks so messy when, I'm paint, when I painted this in oil. Uh, so I'm trying to show this in a um, well-shaped, easy way. Um, it, it is a chaos, of course, so you need to find a certain structure and I haven't found it yet. I found the right colors and the contrast for the garden today and they are quite low because the garden must be the garden must, must lead us uh, to the house and the landscape. So the garden is absolutely not the most important thing for me in this painting. The house is important and this beautiful, lovely landscape in the distance. So the garden must not be too much, too hard in color and light. Um, I just um, was looking for some paintings from a very good painter we had in Holland, Cornelis Vredeburg. The way he composed trees in oil, like this one, is for me so interesting. You see he only used a darker green, a light green, and then he puts a bit of blue in a darker green as well. And then he composes a tree like you can do it in clay. And it looks so easy. And I'm sure it was easy for him after a long struggle. Uh, and I've been struggling with the flowers and the plants in this garden, the garden this day. But it doesn't matter, we will get there. I, I have faith in this, I'm absolutely sure. Although I have to deliver this painting tomorrow in the evening, at the end of the day, that's what I want because I'm leaving the next day, so I would like to deliver it tomorrow. I can't hurry it, I can only get into it and get on, get on, get on and then it will show itself as an easy, simple subject. That's how it works. But now it's time for a beer and um, I had a very good day. Every day starts in the woods and uh, the woods for me is a very good place to be. I get up at 7 and then I drive to the top of a hill here in Cluny. I leave my van there and then I walk in over a small trail in the forest. I don't meet anyone there. Um, and it feels so good there to be part of a certain massive organism, you know, what a, what a wood is. Everything is going on itself over there. No noise, only birds and uh, some wind through the leaves and everything is helping each other to stay uh, in this massive system. That's what I feel when I'm walking there. So that for me that's a very good start of the day and I will miss that when I'm back in Holland.
So I finished it just around 7 p.m. Um, the thing in the garden that I had to do, of course, again, is simplifying, simplify colors. So using the same colors, although I see different colors in the shadows, it was better to use one color in all the shadows. For the light colors, the same, just one or two greens and not seven or eight greens, because then it got too messy and too, uh, uh, what's the word? Too busy. And um, again, the landscape must be the focus point. This house with this landscape in the difference. So this is a, a portrait of a house with a view. And we all will have a house with a garden, but a house with this view is really special. So maybe I think that's what I wanted to show. So the garden is really nice, uh, but it must not concurrate with the nice view of this house. Uh, the hardest thing in this painting was the light reference here in this apartment. Um, it's a very dark apartment and the lights are quite hard or too soft. So it was really hard to find the right colors and contrasts. And I used a bit of nature light, daylight from outside, but the windows are quite low. So the painting had to stay quite low as well. And I was working like this uh, every day. And then in the evening I was really tired and, and, and I had a painful back. And then I took place in one of these chairs and they look <laughs> very nice, but for your back, they are terrible. So um, that was hard, but working here in this street with the sounds of the birds and the French people walking by, it was, it was terrific. Yeah, I really loved it. So that was a nice journey, a nice trip, only for this small painting. I brought my watercolor as well, my watercolor paint to do a small watercolor here in town, but this one took all my attention and time. It doesn't mind. Uh, it was really fun and it was good to be here for a while and um, do a walk every morning in the woods. I will deliver this one now. Uh, I will bring the camera, but I didn't ask yet if the people really appreciate when I'm filming. I will ask that later and uh, I can imagine they don't want it. So I don't know if you see the delivering of this painting, but I hope they like it.
finally back in my studio <clears throat> and that feels good um, actually it took a long way to get here uh, after two drive two hours driving in France my van didn't drive anymore uh, the story is quite long so I give you the short story but now my van is still there in the middle of France um, so this weekend I will get it and I think then and I hope then this story will end <laughs> well but uh, it was a day of uh, you know staying calm and making friends because you need each other you need people to help you so I, I was really mad I was so but I was acting like it was a nice adventure and uh, I was very kind and showed a lot of patience and then you get there I think so today I went to uh, two locations for house portraits here in The Hague and the first one uh, was really a good spot. I made there another watercolor a few years ago in winter. There's a beautiful monument, you see it in distance and I want to make this in the, in the morning then it shows a lovely silhouette. But the light was too hard, the silhouette became totally black. And I explained this to the client and he totally agreed, so that's really nice. And next week we, have, we will have more a bit cloudy weather, sunny and cloudy, so maybe the light is more soft then. We'll see. So, thanks for watching and uh, see you next week. <laughs>